Last night, I went to Los Zillas Collectibles Conference and hosted the Professor's Lab. Like last time, this one was also hosted at Pig Beach in Astoria, Queens. If you've been following me for the past month, you probably know that I've been to a couple of Los Zillas events by now. However, instead of just watching this time, the event organizers had actually asked me if I wanted to be a part of the show. On the same exact day that I got engaged last month, I actually also got certified as a Pokemon professor. If you're unfamiliar, the Pokemon Professor program is something that Play Pokemon does so you can judge official Pokemon tournaments. It also allows you to organize your own small local events. Anyway, the event organizers at Lozilla wanted me to set up a gaming lounge, so I did just that. Although it wasn't an official tournament or anything like that, we thought this. People would come with their Nintendo Switch and I would give them either an event Pikachu or Fulbebe. I also filled the area with free Pokemon cards for people to come and collect. It was super cute. We even had a little guest book that people could sign. After setting up, I decided to go take a look around at the rest of the convention. And just like my video last time, you're gonna see a lot of Pokemon stuff, especially Pokemon cards. Yeah, there were a lot of Pokemon cards. Since Lozilla's last collectibles conference, I've actually gained a huge appreciation for the Pokemon TCG. And guys, do you remember Charizard? Well, guess what? Charizard was here again at the game board and he let me have a free spin. This time I won some Japanese cards. It was lovely to see Charizard again, although I didn't have the best of luck with my pulls because Onyx Glow was not able to make it this time. Also, you know those new Evolution cards from Yu Nagaba? Well, I actually was able to pick one up. Everything was ready over at Pig Beach, and we had also grabbed some other cards from the vendors while we were setting up. While I waited for guests to arrive, I went to one of the vendors and saw something awesome. These guys had a big sticker from the Poke Park. I love Xian Pao, so I got some packs of Snow Hazard and kept moving. As the event got a little bit more packed, I was looking around for Karen from NYC, who sells the plush that I always love to see. And when I finally found her, I bought some Pokemon Fit plush for my desk, so you'll be seeing those in some videos coming up soon. And just as things were kicking up over here, Aaron did something that really surprised me. Aaron came back to the professor's lab with this Blastoise card. At the end of the night, we opened up a bunch of packs with some people who showed up. Although Aaron got to pull this pack, there was another pack that I had gotten earlier in the night that I gave to a six-year-old. And as this little boy was pulling cards, something wild happened. Look at this! Thank you for having me and I'll see you next time.